Forty years after Arturo Bugatti's death in 1947, the once legendary but fading Mark, one of the most renowned in automotive history, was acquired by an ambitious Italian businessman whose aim was nothing less than a resurrection of Bugatti in the form of a state-of-the-art supercar. The first completed production car rolled out in 1992. The Supersport variant is a particularly rare car. It is difficult to pin down the number bill, somewhere between 33 and 38, with the known 18 cars identifiable by the Bugatti Club. The car we have today is chassis number one, built to special order for the Sultan of Brunei and now owned by supercar enthusiast Brian Davies, which sits in his collection affectionately referred to as the Italian Stallions. Welcome to our latest series on SCD TV, where we'll be showcasing what we consider to be some of the greatest 90s supercars. For our very first episode, we have a Bugatti EB110 Supersport, chassis number one. It was an incredibly advanced car for its time. The four turbos, small capacity V12 and four wheel drive stood it apart from the competition, and we consider it to be one of the most significant and rare cars from that era. From the passenger seat, the cabin is small and the engine dominates the experience. The interior is luxurious with lashings of hand-stitched leather and a carbon fibre dash. There is a distinctive rawness and unique sound produced by the small capacity V12. The four-wheel drive system manages the power delivery from the four turbos and instantly propels you to the horizon with relative composure. It's an incredibly rare sight in the UK and it's been fascinating to see the reaction from the general public, both on the road and when we've been parked up. A lot of people didn't know what it was, when they realised it was a Bugatti they were in awe. Those that did know hadn't seen one before, or had recalled having a model version when they were a child. Some people even asked if it was a brand new car. told us that it is an extremely easy car to drive, comfortable and docile in town with the aid of power steering and easy gear shift with an exceptional turn of speed and power if required. Despite the complexity the EB110 works well on the road, its compact dimensions combined with four wheel drive making for exceptional agility with excellent grip and balance no matter what the conditions. The 3.5 litre V12 develops 610 bhp, good enough for a top speed of 212 miles an hour and 0 60 in 3.5 seconds. Full report is available in our latest magazine. You can subscribe to receive it in print and soon online. More information will be available at the end of this film and in the box below. We are interested to hear what your 90s supercar legends are, so please add your comments. <laughs>